Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And now Dale and Alan will sing when we are living. He says, 
following God ways, God wants to lead us. Not all the ways of humans are God's leading. For a long time, we can walk our own path. But God wants to lead us. Whether they be in good luck or misfortune. This text today speaks to us. It speaks to our need to trust in the unseen God. Our ways is not God's ways. But when God leads our ways, they guide us to Him. God's ways guide us to God. Check it out. God's ways guides us to God. God leads us through happiness and unhappiness, always and only toward God. In this, we recognize God's ways. The God who created the earth and water performed a mighty miracle. A miracle demonstrated by God himself to let the people know that I am the same God that told Aaron and Moses that I am that I am. To be still means to be still even in the midst of a storm. To be still means that you are to pray and then there's a time to act. And God has given Moses the equipment to follow him rather than Moses being in charge. Moses was and his people were, were being pursued. They were being chased. They were being followed. They, had, they were being harassed by the greatest armies of the world. And yet Pharaoh had the opportunity to, to turn his Heart around, but after he released them, he wanted them back. And he chased them and pursued them after his heart was softened just a little bit. But his heart became hardened. You know, a hard head can lead to a disobedience. Pharaoh was determined to get his way. Have you ever known people to want to have their own way? No matter what happens, it has to be their way. One of the things that I want you to take away from this sermon today is these words. The Lord, he steps into our own stillness. And he also gives us directions, even in the midst of our own stillness, when we least expect. Try that again. The Lord steps into our stillness and changes our direction when we least expect it. Moses stretched out his hand to the sea which Lord gave him instructions. He said, Moses, all you have to do is stretch out your staff and I will do the rest. He told him to stretch out his staff over the sea. The Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land. And the waters were Divided. You may not understand it. You may not believe it. You may not be able to comprehend it. But it takes faith to understand that he said that I am that I am. So often in life, we do not always understand how scripture meets us. But isn't it strange that when we pray to our God and understand that, that he is always with us, 
There are some things in life that God has taken care of for you. So often we get so busy and doesn't realize that his stretched out hand is still with us. And when we trust in that stretched out hand, it is the hand of God, not necessarily the hand of Moses, but the hand of Moses at that time, but the hand of God on you right now. The Egyptians' army was strong. They were outmatched by God's divine order. Cloud by day and fire by night. The Egyptians said, let us flee from the Israelites. For the Lord is frightened, fighting for them against the Egypt. Then the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea again so that water may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, upon their drivers, upon all their people. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea returned to its normal depth. As the Egyptians fled before it, the Lord tossed the Egyptians into the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the chariots and drivers, the entire army of Pharaoh. As Pharaoh watched, and still his heart was hardened. The Lord saved Israel that day from the Egyptians. Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Israel saw the great work that the Lord did against the Egyptians. So the Lord's people feared the Lord, believed in the Lord, and in his servant. When 9-11 came to this great nation, people that didn't even know that there was a God began to confess. They were in churches and buildings were open and people on national television began to pray. Senators to representatives and all kinds of people prayed. Even in December 7, 1941, when Japan bombed Pearl Harbor, the nation cried. And even today, as we deal with the pandemic, we are trying to be still and to know whether or not God will change this situation. There are situations that are out of our control, wondering what is going to happen. Are we trusting in our political power? Are we trusting in our ability to pray? Our ability that we pray for those who are in charge of trying to fix things. We hope that God is part of the plan. His plan is not necessarily our plan, but God has an exit plan. The children of Israel realized that God was in the plan, and yet Moses was just the instrument. He was just the instrument in place, being obedient to what God had called him to do, to stretch out his hand. And in that 13th chapter, he told the people to stand firm. Stand firm. And in this life, we have to learn to be still and pray and know that God is in the midst. That we cannot always be afraid of what we do not know or do not understand. But prayer is the door of opportunity in, in these times. Prayer is the answer to all that we believe in. Faith is what we need. Faith is a mustard seed to believe that those things that are so impossible those things that beset us, even the Lord will step into our stillness and change our direction when we least expect it. I am sure that there is something that God has done for you. I'm sure that there is something that is unique that God speaks to your heart. I am reminded of these words. Be still. God will fight your battles. God will fight your battles when you recognize he is awesome. Moses had a problem. Moses at one time 
didn't want to ask God all kinds of questions. And he told Moses, you are standing on the holy ground. Take off your sandals. So often in life, we have to ask questions. Who am I, God? Who are you? Sometimes when we ask the questions about who God is, God will answer you. We have to be reminded that God is the same God that took care of Moses, Aaron, and all the children of Israel. He takes care of those who will trust in him. Yes, the Lord steps into our stillness and changes our direction when we least expect it. Don't you believe that? I believe that you do. That's why you're listening today. The God who created all things is the same God that Moses understood. So today, keep on praying. Keep on trusting. Keep on believing. He is the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. And may the peace of God be with you now and forevermore. Amen. And now Go in peace and serve the Lord.